I hope you're ready for a Dollar Tree haul because that is exactly what I'm sharing with you today. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and I definitely love shopping at the Dollar Tree and sharing what I find with you and that is exactly what I'm doing today. So I have several bags. One store I did go into by myself and then another store, Madison, she actually has a channel. I will have it linked down below, Madison Pippins. She was able to come visit Kira and I this past weekend and we had a lot of fun taking her to some of our favorite shops eating some really yummy food and just getting some much needed girl time. So that was a blast. She went with me along with Kira into a Dollar Tree. So I have a lot of goodies to share with you guys. So let me go ahead and start pulling things out of bags and sharing with you guys what I found. First up, I picked up this wooden sign. I thought it was really cute. It says this house believes in Santa and it has Santa, his sleigh, and reindeer and I love the little Santa hat up at the top really cute I love the faux wood in the background it is definitely a very very sparkly I don't know if that's showing up on my hand but I've got a few red sparkles but the quick trick to that is just to spray it with some hairspray and that will help prevent the fallout from the glitter oh and this stuff is just gonna be all mixed up because I did not go ahead and separate it or anything like that but I did pick up this bowl I thought the size was great and the fact that it is just plastic it's not going to be the end of the world if something happens to it but I did need another bowl for chips really I was thinking of chips <laughs> but now that I'm thinking about it I'm also going to be doing some fun snack mixes for the kids for this holiday season so I did pick this up for that as well but I just loved it I don't think they had a gold sometimes when you know the Dollar Tree comes out with the silver they do a gold also and actually sometimes a rose gold but this was the only one that I found but I am definitely more into silver than gold for my own preference so more Christmas I actually went back and forth on getting these or not so they had three different kinds of chair pads they had this one which obviously is the one that I picked up they had a plain darker shade of red and then I think the third one was poinsettias yes so it was a white background and then big red flowers all over it so I went ahead with this one and the reason why I went back and forth is because in my breakfast on my breakfast table which is normally where I do like the the little extra decorating I guess we already have pads but in our dining room we just have the wooden chairs and we have four chairs and then a bench so I picked four up just in case I mean I can still put these at the breakfast table for the kids just to make it more festive um, it'll just be double padded you know so I don't know but I did go ahead and pick them up because I didn't want to get home and regret not getting them so I picked up four of these chair pads and like I said there were two other options this one has the red truck the snowman and then a bunch of Christmas trees I need another cookbook like I I don't even I don't need another cookbook <laughs> but I am so obsessed with fun when I find them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar I just cannot help it so I did pick up several more cookbooks but I do plan on utilizing my cookbooks a lot more next year and maybe for this holiday season I'll pull some out because I do have a lot of holiday ones that have Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the goodies but I'm definitely going to start something new next year by taking a cookbook at a time and kind of not really walking you guys through it but sharing with you guys maybe my favorite recipes or something like that but <laughs> I did pick up some more I just think finding them for a dollar is fantastic so the first one is cookies and cocktails I thought that was awesome especially you know going into the Christmas season with all the cookies if you do any kind of cookie exchange I thought that this would be a great inspiration so it was originally or retails for $14.95 and obviously at the Dollar Tree I did get it for a dollar and I will just show you there's a margarita let's see if we can find a cookie one. Oh, there we go oh are those macaroons 10 macaroons yeah it makes 10 macaroons it looks like they're dipped in chocolate oh yeah oh see look yes 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 I am here for it okay the other one 
is delicious dips and let's see I don't see $16.95 is the retail value on this one that dip right there just looks good so there's an introduction let's get past it so not a picture on every recipe but there are a few sorry for the glare there oh what is that that's guacamole with fire roasted tomatoes and chilies red onion and orange oh that's interesting i've never had orange one juice of one small orange i've never had an orange in guacamole so that is definitely very interesting then this one is a fondue and my kids we should definitely do this more often because i don't and anytime i mean my kids just like to dip you know so i think it would be really fun to do a fondue themed dinner one night so i did go ahead and get this one and where $14.95 was the retail value. And let me show you guys a few pages on the inside. Yeah, I mean, some of these are probably not going to be, like my kids are gonna be like, yeah, I know that's too fancy. But I did love the idea. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's great. Okay, next one is pretty cool. I'm not really packing my kids lunch boxes right now. I am definitely taking advantage of the time that it saves me and a little bit of money back in my pocket because our schools were awarded a grant. I think, I don't, did all schools get it? I don't know. It, an email was sent out and our, not just my school, but my whole entire district has free breakfast and lunch for all kids, no matter what. Any kid that goes to the school in that district gets breakfast and lunch for free for the entire school year. So the end of the 2020 school year going into 2021. So I am not packing lunches that often, but I do sometimes. The kids are still like, ah, uh, I'm not really digging what's on the menu today. You know, can you make me a lunch? So I did find this one, and I do think that this would be great for going into next year and the summertime as well. So this is best lunch box ever. Ideas and recipes for school lunches kids will love. And this, the picture that they picked for the front, just looks so yummy. There's also some fun ones on the back. This book retails for $24.95. I think that is great that you can, you know, find this type of thing at the Dollar Tree for just, again, $1. So they have a lot of fun ideas in here just to break it up from the regular, you know, lunches that you typically pack or that the kids ask for. This just breaks it up and makes it a little bit more fun. All right. And then this was the first one that I found and I was just my mind blown. First of all, I just love the look of it. I picked it up just for decor, just to have sitting out in my kitchen. I have a little ladder type shelf in my breakfast area and I have a few cookbooks on it. And I thought that this was just beautiful. I love the coloring because I do have a lot of Pioneer Woman items out in my kitchen. And I just thought that this really went with that. So. This is a massive cookbook. It's called America the Great Cookbook, the food we make for the people we love from a hundred of our finest chefs and food heroes. Where is the price of this bag boy? $40, $40, that's crazy. It does have all the chefs listed out on the back and let me just show you some of these gorgeous pictures on the inside. I love that oh it's just oh what is that grits with greens and shrimp i'm a grits girl i love that yum 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 i just want to look at it oh rainbow trout spring rolls oh yeah that book i just fell in love with so those were my uh, cookbook finds let's move right along okay i did pick up several I'll go ahead and try to show those all together. I picked up several bins because I am doing a lot of baking this season and I do have a few extra people from last year that I am gifting to. So I wanted to have a variety on hand and going forward, I did wanna go ahead and pick up some extras to have on hand. So I think the Dollar Tree is a fantastic place to pick this type of thing up. Now, you can go to Walmart and they have a few things that are like 97 cents, so right under that dollar, but their bins and things like this size are well over a dollar. So I would definitely, if you're doing any kind of baking or gift giving on the smaller size, I would check out the Dollar Tree first before you go anywhere else. Now, the bigger size, look at this. Like, that's 
that's really big. I loved it. I picked this up for leftovers. So when I am in the kitchen and baking, I'm going to be doing several different kinds of cookies and, you know, packaging them all separately. I figured the ones that we're going to keep at the house, they'd be really cute in this bigger bin. So I did get this one. It says Merry and Bright in the red and the green, and it's got little white snowflakes on it. It is not on all sides. So this side and then back here, you see my face. These sides do not have the print, just two of them. And then of course the red lid. It is very easy. Snap on and off. One thing though, I would not put, I do not put the plastic things that I buy from the Dollar Tree in the dishwasher. Glass is totally fine, obviously, but the plastic items, I just hand wash. So I did go ahead and get that one for here at the house, and then I did get several for gift giving. So let me show you guys those. First one, I feel like I bought a lot last time too. I need to count and see how many I have because I'm sure I'm done now. But I just loved this sweet gingerbread wishes oh sweet christmas wishes the inside is just the gold but i love the side it's got the hot cocoa or coffee mugs on there oh so good let it snow and i just love the little treats that they put on there the gingerbread man the cookies that look like donuts to me candy canes lollipops I really thought that that was a super sweet. Then I picked up the cookie boxes as well. I thought that maybe this would be great for when we have a trash pickup for the kids to run out and hand out to them when they are doing that each week. So this is a two count cookie boxes because there are two gentlemen that are working on the same rotation. So I thought this would be nice. And they had several dif different options. I love the holly berries. But actually this will probably give you a better look that glare is something else this morning I just dropped the kids off came back got ready and filming this so it's bright and early in the morning but I just really love that look I thought it was super pretty and then they have a thinner option so actually let me show you guys these side by side so this one's definitely bigger and are they the same uh, yeah they're about the same just the depth this one's obviously bigger but I did pick this one up to store cookies in as well and it says comfort and joy yes comfort and joy there is absolutely no print on the actual on the bucket part or the the bin part it's just on the lid but I did think that the gingerbread house and people were really really cute okay I think this is I think I only had two bags of bins so this one I love this one. Oh, it's so pretty. I just love the green and the white deer that they chose. So it says, tis the season. The print does go all the way around and it's just the same thing over and over again. It's got white and green snowflakes and then the white deer. The lid is green and this one has a really good snap closure. I feel like that that is really snaps on snaps off. I don't feel like anything's going to fall if you put some cookies in here or anything like that. So I did pick that one up. Then I got this two pack. Yes, two pack of buckets. They did have green ones. They might have had blue ones as well. I definitely am drawn to the red and the green. So I picked this one up. It does, like I said, they're buckets. So it has the lid and the little handle and it says all sorts of things. Tis the season, joyful, joy, merry and bright, peace, uh, walking in a winter wonderland, merry little Christmas, Christmas joy, cheer. I mean, all sorts all over. And they're all different types of tags for putting on gifts. So I thought that was really cute. Again, that is a two pack. Then I did get two more tins. So I got this one, which actually is like the red and green or the green version. And then this one is the white, but the lids are different. So this has the same print. It's a little gingerbread men, the cookies that look like donuts, the little hot cocoa or coffee mugs and the peppermints. So the side is the same. It's just got the green background. And then the top says sweet Christmas. Oh, you know what? It says the same thing too. Sweet Christmas wishes, but the top is just the words. There's no extra going on. So again, this is for my baking that I'm gonna be doing and giving out. So I thought that that just went perfectly with it. And this one I just loved. I love the peppermint theme that's going on right here on the side. It does have some little Christmas trees at the bottom and the print does go all the way around. And then this 
says, what does it say? Candy cane kisses and Christmas wishes. I thought that was really, really cute. I feel like I just said cute like 10 times, but that's just what I do. All right, I think everything's cute at the Dollar Tree. This one, I actually wish I would have found a while ago because if you guys have been following Kira and I, we recently announced that we put out an e-cookbook just to make it a little easier for everybody and pocketbook friendly, but we do have a holiday themed cookbook that is on both of our websites. So my website is always in the description box now and you can go there and find it if you are interested and we're sharing a lot of drinks and appetizers and desserts for this holiday season. Whether you are getting together with friends and family or you're at home and you just wanna do something a little special for yourself. So I have a drink that I mixed a whole bunch of things together and I made a couple different drinks and I had, it looked like a bar in my kitchen while I was just testing things out. And some of them turned out very questionable. I was like, ooh, that's just not for me. <laughs> I am definitely more of a sweet girl. But the Jingle Juice is one of my favorites that is in the cookbook that I was kind of just messing around with. And it tastes so good. And I just named it, actually Kira is the one. I was like, I need some like Christmas themed names. And she's like, how about Jingle Juice? So I'm pretty sure she's the one who named it. Anyway, I saw this at the Dollar Tree, Jingle Juice. And I was like, what? So I really wish I would have had that because it would have been perfect for the picture in that cookbook. I don't even know if you can see that it says Jingle Juice, but it does say Jingle Juice, so I just thought I would pick up one to have on hand, and maybe this holiday season, if I recreate it, I'll go ahead and use it in this glass and take a picture and share it with you guys, because I thought that was super cute. But, I mean, cookbook plug there. It is in the description box on our website if you guys want to check it out, and it is a digital version only. We're not doing it printed. I think maybe in the future we might go ahead and put it up on Amazon, but. For right now, it's just a digital version. We thought that would be easier for you guys. Okay, now I'm getting into a few fun finds and food finds for the kids. Fun find number one are these nails. I have never seen these before. They always have them like for the adults and for little girls in the little like packages, but this one you kind of like pop off and I've never seen them in LOL. So my girls love LOL so much <laughs> so i did get these two i'm thinking either advent or they'll be put in their stockings but it they are 10 press on nails and again lol none of them have the dolls on it i really actually like that it's all just like the theme so there's a peace sign a flower a star heart glasses a ring a broke a little broken heart for the sad ones i thought those are really cute and i know my girls are going to love them I feel like they had trolls maybe. I think they had one more at my store, but my girls are all about LOL. So those are the ones I picked up. Then my kids were making a comment the other day about the balloons that you hit. I don't remember what we were talking about, but they were talking about, oh, you remember those balloons that you just hit and they pop open? And I was like, yes. Then I saw them at the Dollar Tree. So I did go ahead and pick these up. Now these are definitely a hit or a miss. We have picked up several of these in the past where there's one or two in here that never inflate when you're banging on it. And I mean, we went to town and banged them and they never inflated. So hopefully they all work, but I did go ahead and pick this one up. They didn't have any like unicorn theme or, I mean, my son really isn't that picky. He likes pretty much anything, but the unicorn and the llama is definitely rose and pearl. I saw this one with the llama. So I went ahead and picked it up. There are four in here. You can kind of see llama candy uh gingerbread and then what is this a dog i'm pretty sure that's a dog so i did pick that up there are four in there and if you guys don't know what they are what do they call them whack a pack balloons so you don't open it or anything you put the whole pack down and you just kind of punch it and the balloon inside will inflate pop out of the little package and it does come with strings because you can hang them up there's a little hole on the top so you can use them as ornaments but I did go ahead and get that because the kids were talking about it and then I saw that at the Dollar Tree and I was like, oh, yes, I think they'll have fun with that. Okay, another little stocking idea are these. Again, LOL themed, so of course I picked them up and I just love the little twisty top that they put on these candy canes. So I did get two of them, one for rose, one for pearl. There's three in there and it just says surprise flavor. So I have no idea 
but they are pink and blue and purple and I think that's it pink blue and purple my girls are definitely going to love those and I can't wait to see what the flavor is on them Another little a fun novelty item. I picked up this two pack of Jingle Bell bracelets. They did have a silver, they did have a gold. I think there was only the three. They had a silver, gold, and then green. I don't know if they had a red, but I did pick up the green bracelet with the red ball. I thought the girls would like that the best. So I picked that up for them to either just wear around the house or I think this would be too distracting for school. So I'm gonna have to tell them just <laughs> at the house but again just two pack of bracelets and it's got the one jingle bell on there all right so our elves we have two elves Lindsay and bunga and i definitely share all of their shenanigans every single year over on my instagram page and i'm going to try to share them over on my website as well as a daily little blog post if you guys want to follow along make sure you are signed up on my website and following me over at lemonade mom four on instagram so you guys can see what they are into but I did go ahead and pick up some napkins. One day they always like to create some kind of lunch for my kids, whether it is on the weekend or, and they do something like inside the refrigerator or they go ahead and pack their lunches for the day. So I did go ahead and pick up these napkins. That way the elves don't have to bring everything from the North Pole. They can kind of shop my stash, if you will, um, and have some fun with it. So I saw these at the Dollar Tree and I thought they were super cute. It says, express your elf and they are the perfect size for a lunchbox. How many are in here? There's 24 in here, so I think that's a, that's a pretty good count for a buck. All right, back to some food. I did go ahead and pick up these mini carnival pops. They are super yummy, and how many are in here? There's eight in here, so I don't know if we're having any kind of get together with Kira and her family. Um, but if not, these will be great for Advent or stocking stuffers as well. So I picked those up and then I feel like my oldest daughter is going to hate me because all I did was pick up a bunch of Sour Patch for her because I know how much she likes them. And I really don't pick up candy for her that often. Actually here lately I have been, but I, saw, I finally found the Christmas ones. So she's going to have a ton of boxes. I'm going to have to stagger them. Maybe keep some for Christmas, some in Advent, and just stagger them. But I did go, this is going to be the last one I pick up, Sour Patch, that's for sure. I wanted to get this one just because it was the Christmas version. I've seen the little ornaments going around, but I haven't found those. And these ones are just the red and green. So green and red, soft and chewy candy, about three servings. Um, and it does have like the to and from and all of that. So I did go ahead and get these for her, but I'm pretty sure it was what the last Dollar Tree haul that I had four boxes, if that, um, three to five, whatever boxes of Sour Patch, all different kinds. Yeah, she might be over Sour Patch by the end of this year. Okay, I don't pick these up every time, but sometimes I see them and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get them. I feel like they're cheaper. I think they are cheaper if you buy them in bulk at Sam's or Costco, but we just don't really, we don't drink these that often. So these are the sparkling ice drinks. I got the cherry limeade and the black raspberry. They had the lemonade. I mean, they, they, most of the time the Dollar Tree carries several different flavors. These are definitely mine. I got one for me and one for my oldest uh, because we enjoy them. So I did get these and they are what, 17 ounces? 17 ounces each. Okay, I have more food. So I did pick up some goodies for, where's the other bag? I know I've got another bag. All right, everything's just gonna be mixed up. Anyway, I got some goodies for, like I said, I, for, the, for that big bowl. I'm making a couple different mixes. And then I'm also gonna be making a couple different fun charcuterie boards for the kids for different activities that we're doing. And I saw these and I thought they sounded really good and that the kids might enjoy these. I did only pick up one pack of these. But I did find another one that I liked as well. I just don't know where that bag is. Anyway, these are the Hershey's Milk Chocolate Pretzel Bites. So it's the Hershey's Milk Chocolate with a salty pretzel center, sweet and salty. My kids are definitely fans of that. So I did get that for that reason. And then Kira actually saw these and was talking about the elves. And I was like, that's a great idea. So I grabbed one as well. This is the Elf Grams Fun Graham Snacks Original. There's six in here. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and open it so the glare's not too bad. They're really small little packs. They're one ounce and they're not, I mean, obviously no pack is completely full, but they're just graham crackers and it looks like the little, the little elves, the little Keebler elves on there. So I thought that would be fun, something fun to do 
with the elves that visit us the day after Thanksgiving. All right, I always love to see what kind of Betty Crocker mixes they have, and they had two more that I had not seen before. First one is this Betty Crocker cookie dough bites. I think they're no bake, no bake cookie dough bites in the lemon. So actually, I didn't look at the date. December so I will have to make these and not hold on to them but this kind of thing you can make the dough ahead of time and freeze it so I might do that or I might just make them and put them with some of the fun little like kid treat trays that I'm going to be putting together but I'm definitely a big fan of anything lemon flavored you do need cream cheese and butter outside of everything else that's included in here to create your little no bake cookie dough bite so I picked that up and then this definitely spoke my name too um, these are the chilled treats oh I've got food all around me these are the chilled treats it says mix chill and top chills in five minutes it has four individual servings they had a chocolate one as well this one definitely spoke my name it is the French vanilla mousse with salted caramel topping so much yum all right there I can't wait to try it so I picked that up then so the last time they had the scrumptious cookies that I picked up last time that had the little Oreo bites there is hardly any in here I think there was like six maybe two yeah three servings per container and a serving size is two there's six cookies in here so definitely does not last long in my house at all the kids really enjoyed them so we saw that they had a different kind and I went ahead and picked these up because my daughter Rose is all about chocolate and peanut butter together. And that's exactly what this is. So it is a chocolate cookie with peanut butter and then it's wrapped in another layer of a chocolate. So scrumptious, just like it says the last batch was at least. So I went ahead and picked those up for the kids to try. And then speaking of things for the kids to try, around Halloween I picked up the, what are these called again? snowballs the snowballs that were very halloween themed they were orange and then the packaging had it, it made it look like they had little jack-o-lantern faces on it the kids really liked those i took a bite i'm not a huge fan i don't like them i think they're weird uh, but the kids really liked them so this time i found them with this snowman packaging so i did pick one up for each of my three younger kids and i think maybe this might be set out with the elves when they bring breakfast or I don't know, maybe they'll bring snow and they can build a snowman. That was kind of what Kira's idea was when she saw me pick these up. So who knows what, but the kids will definitely consume these and they will enjoy it. So I did go ahead and pick three up and they are the Tasty Cake Cream Filled Snowball. So it says two chocolate cakes, coconut and marshmallow coated. And again, the packaging makes it look like a snowman. So I'm not a fan of these. I love coconut, but I just, I don't know. They don't taste right to me, but the kids love them. And that was their first time having them. So I did go ahead and pick those up. And then I did find the other bag. So I picked this up as well. The, these are the Junior Mints Minis. So the kids got these for Halloween and they were orange cream filled. They were still minty but the cream inside was orange and they loved them. So I figured this would be a great little addition to their little snack board that I'm gonna be making one weekend for their movie night. We're gonna watch some Christmas movies. So I thought that would be perfect. All right, I have picked up a mask from the Dollar Tree in the past. I feel like some of our masks we've had for so long now that they are a little stretched out for the kids because you know, they tug on them. They just pull them off after school, that kind of thing. Um, and I do feel like I'm gonna have to get rid of some because they no longer fit correctly. So I've been buying a few here and there. I got the like catacorn one from the Dollar Tree not too long ago and it fit the girls perfectly. This time they had a unicorn. So I did pick this one up for Rose. It's got the unicorn and the rainbow. So I got that. I did get something for myself to try. I am not a huge fan of the paper masks. I just don't feel like they work very well. And when I'm doing a mask, I'm not really like laying down. I'm putting the mask on and then I'm doing something else while I'm waiting my 10, 20 minutes to remove the mask. So the paper masks don't really work for me because I like to just be on the move and getting things done. But these are peel off foil masks, which I've never tried before. There's three in here and it says contains blue, red, and silver peel off masks. Now they had them all packaged differently. So it makes it look like there's a bunch of different kinds because some of them have the red, mask in the front some of them have the blue one but they're all the same they all just say contains three masks blue red and silver yeah blue red and silver silver and they're all peel off masks foil peel off masks so 
I did go ahead and grab a pack to give a try. More fun items. I found another one of these cars. So I picked one up not too long ago. I have a little stash going on for, it is, well, I mean, it's for several different things going on. I haven't separated it yet, but I have some things for donations that I'm going to be making to areas around us. And then for advent for the kids and stocking stuff, like so many things I need to pull apart and count everything and make sure I have enough of everything that I want. And there's another little project that I'm working on. So I'm picking up several different toys and this one seemed really cool. So I haven't tried the other car yet, but I've heard people talk about it. So I did go ahead and pick this one up because the last one I picked up does not look like this one at all. And if you guys didn't watch that last video, this is Hot Wheels brand. And it says uniquely identifiable vehicles. This is the Motosaurus. So it's got that dinosaur theme going on. And let me open that and show you. I don't think I opened it in the last one, the last car that I found, but it says, welcome to the virtual garage. This is your Motosaurus. Motosaurus. Track your performance for speed laps and races. Street Beast, this is number two of five. And it says series one. So on the back, there is a little code on your vehicle that you scan and it does say download on the app store or get it on Google Play. And apparently there's a game that the kids can play on an app with their little vehicles or the, the vehicles are cool by themselves. I mean, Hot Wheels are about a dollar anyway. So I thought that was just cool for the vehicle. And on top of that, you get the game. So it says connect safely, play endlessly. No idea what these retail for. So I went ahead and picked another one up just because I thought that was a super cool gift idea. And then I found some really cute hair bows. So my daughter Pearl absolutely loves to do her hair. She, for a while there, she was into headbands. Right now, she's not really wearing headbands. She's putting her hair half up and putting clips in it or her hair will be down and she's, it's clips right now is what she's doing. So I found these fun ones. Now these are all like very summer themed, but being little girls, they're gonna wear them whenever. They're super cute. So they're each two packs. This one is strawberries, strawberries, and oh, they're little hearts. There's little pink hearts in them. And can you hear that? I mean, they move around in there. It's not completely full, so they'll move around. I thought, I think she's really gonna enjoy these. So I picked one up of each that I found. So these are kind of, I feel like it should be this way. They're clipped on backwards maybe, I don't know. But this is watermelon, and then it's a lighter pink. Are they hearts? Yeah, they're hearts. So watermelon little clay, soup, clay little piece super glued onto the barrettes. But then inside, it's filled with little pink hearts, like heart confetti. Here's some grapes with the light blue. Oh, that is really cute. I think she's really gonna love this. And then we've got the pineapple, and in the pineapple one, it's not hearts, it's circles. Oh wait, was this? Yeah, so those three were all hearts. This one is circles, and it is multicolored confetti in there. So I've never seen these there before, and I know, like I mentioned, she is really, really gonna love them. Okay, I saved the best for last, I think. Now, the two big themes, well, the one big theme that was going around last year was the red truck, right? I never really got on board. I love it, I think it's cute. I have a couple things, but I'm not all about it. Then last year, also, some gnomes started trickling in, you know? This year, gnomes are friggin' everywhere, like everywhere. Again, I'm not like completely on board. I have a few already, I think they're cute, but these I just had to get because I thought for the size that they were gonna be in the dollar plus section, like $5, $3, or this is something that if you find it at the Target dollar spot, it would be $3 or $5, but no, these rang up. Hold on, let me just double check. Let me double check that they rang up for a dollar. Yes, yeah. Yeah, $1, they rang up for $1. You ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How cute! I told you I was gonna say cute like a million times. These are super cute, and again, like the size, I really thought that they were misplaced. I was double checking the tag, I was like, okay. Because all everything in the dollar plus section, it actually says the price on the tag. And I was like, okay, no, it's just got their Christmas little tag on there. There's no price. And I just can't with these. They're super cute. I think the quality is pretty good too. Oh, so they did have three one. They did have three different ones. 
this red one. You can see his little sweater looking hat there with the red and the white. I just can't. And they're filled with like a bean bag chair with beans to hold them. This one with the gray sweater and the gray and white. And then this one is the white and the red with gray. So I just, I thought these were adorable. I think I'm going to put them upstairs in the game room. I don't know. I just pulled all my Christmas stuff in. I haven't even started decorating. I got overwhelmed. I was like pulling all the Christmas stuff in. I started unboxing them all and I was like, oh, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I stepped away and I came in here and I'm like, we're going to film a video real quick first. So um, I'm super excited to put these out around the house and I love that they're not fragile. Like the kids can play with these. These can totally be just little stuffies that the kids can play with. I have three younger kids that would enjoy them. So it worked out perfectly. I just, just seriously, I was surprised. I was like, oh my goodness. All right, hold on. This fuzz is from something else in the Dollar Tree because it doesn't look like anything on him, but like how that I'm still amazed. I think that is so, so cute. Okay. That is everything that I am sharing with you guys today that I found from the Dollar Tree. It's definitely very holiday filled and related as we get closer and closer to that Christmas Eve date. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hanging out with me for a little bit. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you are new, I would love for you to subscribe. I have some fun things coming. I keep hinting to that. I'm starting something new that I'm a little nervous about, but here on Lemonade Mom, I share a lot of shopping hauls and food related content. So I hope you guys are here for it. I also hope you guys have a great mid week. That's when this is going up. So I hope your week so far has been great and the rest of your week, your plans are fantastic. And I will see you in the next video.